All right, today i am uh, got some new samples of uh, some new LED high bay lights that uh, I'm going to hang up in my garage. These are the latest generation, probably 150 to 170 lumens per watt. Um, I'm going to replace my ones I've had up in my garage for the last four or five years. These are... Um, you know, these were the early generation high bays. They were about 100 lumens per watt, uh, or 100 to 120 lumens per watt. That one was a Luzio Flex branded one. This one is an Orion. I got them both as samples from my work uh, that I do. And so right now, I've, I'm getting, you know, on this spot right here, 80, 88, 89 foot candles. When uh, we're blocking it, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty consistent there, unless we're standing in the shadows. <clears throat> Let's see what it reads over here on my other side. A little lower, 50 foot candles. Right under, uh, 56 foot candle, so. Really, the under this one, you know, 97 foot candles. This fixture right here is, uh, at the time, it was 240 watts, you know, 24,000 lumens. I think that one over there was a little less. It might have been only 18,000 lumens, 180 watts. But what I have on the ground now is this guy. You know, the, the one I have up there, that's a four footer. This one's actually a two footer. Uh, you know, basically half of what's up there. The um, this one's 160 watts, and when I looked up the spec sheet on this, I believe it was right around 23, 20,000, 23 or 24,000 lumens. So it's so basically the same lumen package as the one up there. You know, in half the size. So, and then this guy right here, this one is a equivalent. It is. Uh, 145 watts and I believe this is a 140 or 150 lumens per watt so whatever the math on that ends up being it's probably the equivalent of that guy you know either around 20 something thousand lumens right there so I'm gonna end up prepping these to replace the ones in my ceiling right now in addition uh, one of the cool things with this fixture is the sidebars on the outside actually rotate so they've got a little dial right here and they rotate four different positions they've got little holes on the side so like this right now right there i got it turned sideways so like in my garage instead of having it sh aimed straight down i could actually tilt it to to aim towards you know, the outside of the garage or the against the wall to reflect off of you know the all the stuff over here so looking inside of this Luzio Flex one I have, it's actually being driven by an advanced Xtanium dimming driver. Um, all the work I do and all the samples I get, actually this is a very common driver for these high bays. Um, you know, this comes with a lens on over the LEDs. So one of the things I noticed on the newer generation stuff, they decided to go with a lot more LEDs probably lower lumens, lower output per LED compared to the old stuff that was up there. The old stuff that was up there was, you know, they had very, they had single high power LEDs and less of them. So they've actually just increased, you know, and it's probably because it's gotten better, better with thermal management and all that with these LEDs. Before they were, you know, they were always afraid to burn them out, but they probably learned over the years that, you know, these can a little bit more robust. So they've added a lot more in, on each board. Same with the Orion ones over here. If you look close, you know, they, they stacked them pretty darn close and in, in density compared to the old Orion stuff, which you can see up there. It's got one LED chip for every, you know, one and a half, two inches apart. So that's, yeah, they changed a lot and it's got a lot to do with these you know a lot of these boards now are manufactured by third party so they you know they they just they, they become more like 
lamps and stuff on your traditional fluorescent. So I opened up the Orion one and they use the same driver or same line of driver as the one from Luzio. These are a little different. These are these are 75 watt, um, 24 volt output, three amps. And uh, this one over here is, uh, I think it's just a higher wattage uh, of this, you know, and uh, it's different features. So I took apart, I'm about to take this down and I open it up and it looks like these at the time were using 250 watt maximum drivers from the same advance um, line and you, yeah you can see the LEDs here the LEDs they used back then you see that they, they had a little lens and you know a little coating on them and everything to an optic the new ones don't have those optics anymore and, Got the babies down there crying. get looks like we're getting about the same output as we had before around 84 85 right underneath uh, we're hitting 90 something so that's consistent to what we had before so um, that's what we expect I guess from the same lumen package all right so I take the lenses off all four of them now um, I gained about seven foot candles so you could tell I mean these are little frosted lenses that go over it to block the glare. But, uh, you know, you can see I lost, lost a couple of candles there. Right underneath the fixture. Yeah, hitting 97. So that's what the, the other fixture was hitting. Basically below it was because it was a wider fixture. So it wasn't as dense um, and you know concentrated on the light. So yeah, 96. And this is just with this one fixture, so you know it's still the same contributing light from that side. I haven't changed that fixture yet, but so, so about the same lumens. Um, I'm saving uh, using this. I'm saving what about 80 watts uh, for the same output. So that's not bad. So the next test I did, I left the lenses off. I used the the two side rotating uh, bars on there. So I actually rotated it so it shines more light towards that end of the garage and then towards the door and my bench right there. So it's actually when I'm working right here with the car and the hood up, it's actually better because it's bouncing the light off that white door and reflecting it back. So, you know, having it turned that way. So I'm probably going to leave it that way. As far as the light levels on the ground, I, uh, I uh, with the lenses off, so that seven foot candles I gained, I, you know, I'm back to what it was, the 84 with the lenses on there. So, but I'm actually distributing my light over to my bench. And then that way, if I have my car backed up, I'm working on back there, you know, the, the light would shine directly in the hood if I have the, if I have it halfway through. So pretty good design. <laughs> this down so this one was actually a lower um, low lumen package lower wires than I thought it was hundred and forty five watts uh, built 2014 so this thing was at the time with that technology it was probably you know, right around 14,000 lumens maybe 15,000 lumens at 145 watts so that new guy I'm putting in there is the same watts 145 
watts, but it's 24,000 lumens or something like that. So yeah, it's, it's a lot more lumens per watt compared to this guy uh, from four years ago. So I flipped the driver over on this um, just to see what model number was and it's actually using the same exact 72 watt one that's on that newer higher lumen one. So um, yeah, I mean driver, it's, it's all about the chip technology that uh, they advanced in more lumens per watt or current that's driving it. And these back then, <clears throat> these were much higher power, higher quality LEDs at the time. They actually have a, a little rubber coating on them that is like a, an optic on it. So same with the, the Luzio ones. They had a similar uh, you know, optic. It looks like a rubber coating optic on top of it um, on each chip. So. Um, you could tell the market pressures a couple of years ago. These were selling for two or three times the price of what they sell for now. So you know the market pressures. They've probably gotten to cheaper chips, more cheaper chips than what they were using at the time, which were fewer high-powered chips with better optics and better quality control. Ended up hanging both fixtures up, both over the two footer, the two foot flex, four foot Orion, about the same lumen package, around 24,000 lumens. Um, that one is burning at, I believe, what was it 160? That one was 145 watts. I've got everything. What I ended up doing over here, I, I had the two sides turned. I put the lens back on. When I did that, I lost another seven or eight lumens. So it was, uh, what was it before? It was 84, so it was around 74 or 76, 77 um, foot candles. Now that I hung the new Orion, I'm actually hitting 87 and a half foot candles. So I gained another 10 foot candles because of the light contribution from the new <clears throat> the new one over here that I added. Um, this side, I'm basically running the same watts I did before, but now I'm getting about maybe 10,000 more lumens uh, out of it. You know, maybe 8,000, I don't know. I gotta look up the spec number uh, on what this one's actually putting out. But, you know, it's actually contributing over here to, to this side. If I, I would probably right now, if I would have, turn the, the the two bars down, I'd probably hit what I was before on this side. But we'll get the readings over here. Earlier, I was hitting in the 80s. Uh, so actually, uh, I'm not doing much better over here. It's actually 64, which I think it was less because we were, I forgot what we were hitting before, but I'll look it up again uh, when, on the video. but. Yeah, right underneath I'm hitting 77 foot candles. So uh, even though this one is, uh, it might be a little bit less lumens than that one. I don't know. I mean, the wattage wise is 145, but it depends on the chips on there. But that one, I know for sure it was 160. So, you know, it's got 15 more watts. So it might have, what, 15 times 100 and something lumens per watt 150 so yeah you're 15 so that's um you know 15 1500 2000 3000 lumens whatever it is right. and over here you know i got my two old ones um probably end up giving it to some people at work or something i always try out the new stuff and you know they get whatever's left over or the hand-me-downs so 